with Wattie Burke. Hello, good afternoon. The BBC has strongly denied further claims from the Conservative Party that their coverage of the political scene is biased. In a statement issued today, a spokeswoman declared that those concerned with news and current affairs may hold their own political views, but they, and most especially those whose responsibility it is to read the news, <laughs> would never, under any circumstances, reveal any personal prejudice. In a heated exchange today, Labour leader Neil Kinnock <laughs> said that the Labour Party had had another leak. <laughs> Mr. Ted Heath. <laughs> he said that he had the same problem but took pills for it. <laughs> Leader of the SDL, uh, the, S, the, S, the SD, the P, the P, the P, Paddy Ashdown <laughs> said he could confirm that there had been leaks on his side of the house and as evidence pointed to several puddles on the floor. <laughs> Michael Foote refused to comment. <laughs> Shadow Trade and Industry Minister, Mr. Gordon Brown, <laughs> insisted that the country was still <laughs> in recession. <laughs> in reply, Chancellor Norman Lamont <laughs> declared emphatically, it isn't. <laughs> Shadow Scottish Secretary Donald Dewar in a fiery speech said, um, uh, <laughs> several times. <laughs> West Lothian MP, Mr. Tam Diel, Interrupted to ask why the Belgrano had been sunk. <laughs> Mr. Michael Hesseltine uh, 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 was so infuriated that he threw Mr. Colin Moynihan at him. <laughs> Deputy Leader, Leader, De oh, sorry, I'll read that again. Deputy Labour leader Roy Hattersley leapt to his feet to say thump, 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 thump. <laughs> thump, thump, thump. <laughs> The deputy speaker said she would accept a cup of coffee when it was ready <laughs> Mr. Hattersley became so impassioned at this that he inadvertently broke wind <laughs> Mrs. Thatcher declared it was the best speech Mr. Hattersley had ever made. <laughs> the Prime Minister, Mr. John Major, <laughs> thought that enough was enough and proposed a recess to allow the air to clear. <laughs> and that was the one o'clock news. Oh, here's a bit of late news just come in. The BBC regrets to announce the imminent departure of that well-loved newsreader, Mr. Watty Burke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.